Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will talk about some details uh, about feather making with uh, mesh vertices. First, I will create a um, mesh vertices feather. I will use this to use this to feather template. Click this button, make a feather template. Okay. Now we get a simple polyplane. I will select. I will select those vertices and create uh, vertices JC feather. Okay. Now you guys may see that once we create a JC feather from mesh vertices, we get a. Um, triangle locator here. This locator is used to collect uh, mesh information to make feathers. Okay, now select this um, triangle locator. Open it in the attribute editor. We know this node is um, JC feather component and uh, now open the outliner. Okay. Now you see this node is called GC Feather Component One. Now open the component prom properties. We get some attributes to explain how those attributes work. And uh, first, I will I will do this. Click Display Polygon and uh, Custom Polygon Display Options. Make sure this attribute uh, vertices uh, clicked. Okay, now click select uh, this mesh and uh, click uh, apply. Okay, now you guys see that the vertices ID numbers show in the viewport. You know we select uh, the vertices uh, um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We select those vertices to create uh, this feather. Now select the triangle locator JC feather component one. In this attribute vertex group, we got five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those numbers are those those vertices edge numbers just are those five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I delete five, okay, the feather will grow. Will grow at a vert a vertex six, seven, eight, nine. I can also change this six, clone nine. This is equal to the six, seven, eight, nine. If I change this attribute to one, clone four, okay. You see that uh, this feather shape grows at vertex 1, 2, 3, 4. If I change this attribute to 11, clone 14, okay, we will see that the feather will grow at uh, vertices, number, vertices I number 11, 12, 13, 14, okay. The second attribute locator size. Okay, you guys see this locate this attribute is used to scale the triangle locator. Okay, I will close this tab. Se now I will select uh, those vertices. If I want to add those vertices to the JC feather shape one. I can do this, add vertices to this feather shape 1. Okay, now those two feather shapes share one JC feather node. I can also add, uh, add a new JC feather component, select those, select those vertices and click uh, add vertices to JC feather shape 1. Okay, now we get uh, three feather shapes. And those three feather, those three feathers share one JC feather node. 
Okay, now I can tr I can translate scale rotate the mesh to transform the feather shape. Okay, now I will duplicate uh, the mesh. I can also do this. Select select those vertices one zero one two three and uh, create a vertices component. Okay, now I just get a triangle locator. This JC feather component four here, and now I can add a component to JC feather. Shape one, okay. Now we we get uh, those uh, four feather shapes that share one JC feather node. It's called JC feather one. I can also select uh, ver vertex, select those vertices, and uh, create uh, vertices component. Select this feather component and uh, create a component JC feather. Okay. Now guy now you guys may see that this menu create versus JC feather combines uh, those this step and uh, this step. Okay. Now you guys um, see that uh, how the mesh versus feather works. Okay. See you next lesson.